Hey guys, welcome back. In this lecture, we will start working on writing specs for controller. But before we start working on controller specs, we need to discuss something. We are using the R spec version greater than five in our course application, and up to this version, R spec recommend to use the request specs over the controller specs because request specs are now considered as better than controller specs. But still, I want to explain the controller specs because it might be possible for you to get chance to work on already existing or developed application which heavily using the controller specs. And in that case, you must have idea about writing controller specs or working with controller specs. And after understanding how to write the controller specs and how it works, we will switch to the request specs and keep working on the request specs only. So let's start with the controller specs for now. So first in the specs directory, you can see that we have only factories, models, support directories. Now what we need to do here to start with the controller specs, we need to create a controllers directory in our specs. So first uh, open the create a new directory into the specs and name it as controllers. Sorry, not find. We just need to create a new directory here. So new folder and name it as controllers. Okay, and inside this controllers, we need to create a spec file for the users controller. So what we can do here, just create a new file inside this controller and name it as users controller spec dot rb. So save it as users controller underscore spec dot rb. Okay, and now in this file we need to define our users controller spec. So what how we can do this? So first uh, require rails helper. Okay, and in the rails helper, uh, sorry, after the rails helper, what you need to do? You need to describe r spec dot describe and then users controller. Okay. And if you wish, you can define type here as well, like uh, type controller. Or you can leave this type as well because we are just uh, mentioned that this is spec is inside the controllers directory. So if you wish or if you wish, we can remove this type controller from here as well. And if you wish, you can keep it here. No matter whether you skip or keep it, it works as the controller spec. Okay. Now inside this uh, R spec users controller, what we need to do, we need to add a describe block. And this is an example group just like content in which you can define multiple examples. Okay. So how we can do that? Let's say describe and then since we are doing it for the users index section first and we know that users index section is the type of get so what we can do here get and then index do and now inside this describe block we need to define our examples or in into this example group we need to define our examples using it blocks so first we can do like it assigns users then do now into this kit block we need to write our spec and before writing the spec i would just like to tell you that we will see multiple failures of this user controller spec so let's see how what uh, how it can fails and how we can overcome all those failures okay because this is very important for you because we have added the device gem into this and we are writing the uh, controller spec which is not recommended by our spec as of the after 3.5 version okay so we will look at all the failing specs and we will uh, progress through passing each and every one okay so first define user equal to user dot create okay and here get index and then we need to assign this created user to the users controller so we will use the assign so expect then assigns user users and then two and it must be equal to eq as an array and place user here okay save the file by the way what is assigned here assign relates to the instance variable created within a controller action it must match the same name as defined into the users controller index section so if you wish you can verify this into user controllers index section. So open the users controller. 
users controller and here you can see what we defined inside the index section that at the rate users equal to user dot all so we will use this users instance variable to assign it the newly created user into this spec okay and we will just develop our user controller spec till this point for now and save the file now and switch to the terminal and run the spec so switch to the terminal and here what we need to do r spec spec and this time controllers okay and then user controller spec dot rb and when you run your spec you will see that this spec will get failed and what we error we are getting here that device missing order just because we have device gem included into our app and we want before action authentication in the system so we need to handle the device error first okay and how we can handle this so open the rails helper dot rb from spec directory so switch to the project directory again and here open the rails helper dot rb and here you can see that uh, here you can see that we added some configuration to this rails helper and at the last you again need to add some configuration here for handling the this device error so what you can do here let's say config dot include and then switch to the terminal again and here you can see device test controller helpers so just copy this and we will just use this just paste it here and then you need to mention type here that is type for controllers and save this now switch to the terminal again and run your spec Again, this time you will see an error, but different this time. That is, add gem rails controller testing gem to your file because it is missing and you will get getting a no method error. And that's why R spec recommend the request specs over controller specs. To get your controller specs working, you need to add the rails controller test gem first. Okay, why? Because we are using the assigns here. And uh, as I already tell you before, uh, in the starting of this lecture, that R spec recommends the request specs now rather than controller specs. So to support the controller specs with the latest version of the R spec or any version of the R spec greater than 3.5, what you need to do, you need to add this gem rails controller testing in your gem file. So just uh, copy this gem name and switch to the gem file. Open the gem file and just in the group of test and development, just paste this gem and run the bundle install. Okay, save the gem file, switch to the terminal and run bundle install. And once the bundle installed, now run the spec again, but this time the spec will fail again as we are trying to create a user with no attribute. So this will be an invalid user. For example, if you run your spec again, you will see that we are getting user, all the user attributes as nil here. You can see expected user ID nil, name nil, email nil and all that. So first we need to create a valid user here. So switch to the spec file again, user controller spec. And what we can do here, we can replace this user equal to user dot create by let statement. Okay. And we already know that let will never work inside the it block. You either need to use it inside the describe block or in context block. So what we can do here, let and then user, and then just create this user create user okay now your user will get created from the users factory and into the users factory you can see that we have defined all the required attributes for the user okay now save it and run your spec again but uh, again this time your spec will get failed because you will get nil and you are expecting a user with proper id like user id some name some email city states and all the attributes present for the user but still our spec is getting failed and we are getting nil why because uh, we just added the device them into the application controller uh, sorry the before action authentication callback into the application controller that you can see in, uh, in the app controller so switch to the app controllers and application controller here you can see what we are doing before action authenticate user and in user spec what you can see that we are just creating the user and then we are just trying to switch to the users index that means it will not work why because we first need to sign in this user into the system then it only it will work for example if you want to check with the debugger just uh, uh, add the debugger here Okay, this will hold the execution of this spec and now switch to the terminal and run the spec. Okay, and when you run this spec, you will, you can check the response body. So, response.body, 
here you can see that you are being redirected to some sign in page okay so what we need to do here first we need to make sure that user is signed into the system so here you can see that uh, we just created the user here and now what we need to do we just need to call the sign in method from the device here so sign in and then user okay save this and now run your spec again and this time your spec will get passed so here you can see that one example zero failures that means we did everything like we just created the user then we allow that user to sign into the system and then we trying to access the index page of the users controller and then our spec is working fine it is assigning the users to the uh, sorry it is assigning the newly created user, user to the users collection okay that means our spec is working fine here and that's it so in this lecture we just wrote a very basic controller spec but we got to know how controller specs work and that's more important and we also uh, set up some configuration if we are using the device and we have the before action authentication implemented in our app okay so you must make sure that to do some do the similar configuration in your rails.helper.rb and one more thing that is more important to notice that if you are using controller specs with R spec you just need to add rails controller testing jam into your jam file okay so just try this lecture at your end and we will meet into another lecture with another spec in the same controller till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe